Hallelujah. So, blessed are the me, blessed are they that mom, blessed are they that are always desiring more. They are poor in spirit, so they are looking for more to take care. Now, you remember our test is it seeds time harvest will always exist. Eat coal always exists. Remember uh, Genesis 8:22. So today we want to read Matthew 5, 6, and 7. The Bible says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Now you wonder why am I linking righteousness and mercy? Righteousness and mercy are nature of God, they are nature of the kingdom. Sir, it does not matter how you want to tell me, you cannot be righteous and not be merciful. It's the nature of heaven. Why? A righteous person will have compassion. A righteous person will want to reach out to the next person. A righteous person will forgive easily. A righteous person will look out for the other person's uh, uh, help and, and uh, good. That's why we are margin righteousness and mercy. And the Bible says something about the righteous. Those that hunger and thirst after, those that just want to be righteous, those that want to do things right the way God wants it, say they shall be filled. They shall be, all the time, they shall be satisfied. And that's why I also say that those that are merciful, they shall obtain mercy. A righteous person will always ever obtain mercy before God. Because remember, seed time harvest. Hot and cold. So as long as you are doing it, you are going to be obtaining it. And that's what the Bible says in Hebrew 1 9. You see, because you have loved righteousness and you have hated iniquity, that is why the Lord your God has anointed you above your fellows. A righteous, merciful person will always be above their fellow. It's the nature of heaven, it's the nature of God, it's the attitude that makes you to flourish in life. The Lord bless you.